So you already know what's not working in your life. You may be complaining about it, but you're not doing anything about it. So what are those things that you wish you could change? You know, physical is the easiest, right? So walk two more steps today, walk 10 more steps, you know, you know, eat one less French fry, you know. But same goes on with skills. That in second or third grade, when you were seven years old, you messed up a multiplication problem and you didn't know seven times seven. So you convince yourself you're bad at math. If I put you in second grade up against second graders now, I bet you could beat them all at math. So we get this drilled into our heads. And there's a study that they did in Canada. Canada, their sport is hockey. And it turns out all the great hockey players for the past century were all born in the same three months. Is it astrology? Is it the moon? How could this be? And what it was is it was the cutoff for going into the next year of their school system, which means when you went to school, you were bigger than the other kids by a year, which means the first time you played hockey, you were bigger and stronger and more coordinated. So you were good at it. But more importantly, the coaches said you were good at it and the teachers told you were good at it. So and your parents told you're good at it. So you kept doing it, which if you keep doing it, you get better at it and you become a great hockey player. The reverse is true. If people are telling you you're stupid, that you can't do it, you'll start believing it and you'll have those results. So introspection is what's holding you back? What's that voice in your head and how do you change that? And I'll give you a, a trick. So drugs, illegal drugs, people take them because it releases serotonin and norepinephrine. It lights up your synaptic nerves and gets everybody all, all happy and euphoric. Well, guess what? You can do the same thing. Tomorrow when you wake up and do this every day, I still do it. Look in the mirror and say, today can be better than yesterday and I have the power to make it so. And just by being in a positive mindset, and there's tons of studies on this, I'm not some tree-hugging hippie, you'll see more opportunity, you'll be more popular, you'll get more dates, you'll make more friends, you'll make more sales, you'll make more money because you'll see opportunity. But if you walk around, Oh, such problems. And you wouldn't see it if it was right in front of your face. So it starts with you. And no one can change you. People can beat the living daylights out of you, and you're not going to change. And that's why when you look in the U.S., 300 million people, but almost a third of our CEOs are immigrants or the son of immigrants. Why? Because somebody that immigrates made a conscious choice for a better life. They have that positive mindset, okay? They're not like, oh, it's probably bad over there. Why, why go? I'll stay here. I can suffer here. Why suffer? They have that. And I think what differentiated America, it was made up by a bunch of people that wanted something different and better. And so that culture that we have, which is very different than the British, is we have no fear of failure. Look at the idiot we have in the White House. Um, he fails and fails and fails, bankrupt I don't know how many times, and now he's president. Um, but if you think of the Simpsons, that's the American culture. Homer comes up with a get-rich-quick idea, it falls apart, and then life goes on. Where in the British, it's, you know, I'll be embarrassed, what will people say? You know what? I've yet to meet a hater that's doing better than me. Think about it. The youngest self-made billionaire right now is Kyle Kardashian. She hit a billion dollars at 21. You go, oh, well, she came from that family. Really? Kim's not a billionaire. Mom's not a billionaire. None of the older sisters are billionaire. What did she do differently? She came along at the generation of Instagram, understood its power, and started marketing as opposed to being paid to be a model for a cosmetic line, just sell her own stuff. Here's a little secret to all the women listening. There's only two factories in the world to make lipsticks and cosmetics. One's in, in the US and one's in Italy. All the rest are just labels slapped on. So she slapped on her own and made a billion dollars. It is that easy.